What is up guys, Winterkills here. Welcome to a brand new unboxing video. Uh, I wanted to do uh, two of each tin, but they, the place I went to, my main, my main card store, they only had one of each. So unfortunately, we're just doing two, but we got one of each, so I think that should uh, be, uh, I think that should be enough for this video. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and crack open both of these 2018 Mega Tins. I'm gonna open the blue one first, cause I want to. Um, yeah, so if I could just open this bad boy up. I'm gonna try my hardest to get this video uploaded the day that uh, that I recorded this, cause I'm supposed to be leaving for somewhere in a couple of hours. So hopefully we get this done in time. Let's get this knife thing out of the way. And let's go ahead and open up the first tin. So we got those promos. I remember when everybody was like, yo, leaked promos, by the way. We got like, yo, needle fibers coming out, cherubini. Um, that was a uh, that was a bait, if I ever saw one. The promos are okay. There's only like two that I'm actually interested in. I'll show you which ones those are. First one's this guy right on the top or something. It might be this guy or it might be someone else. So, you know, you get your three. Uh, you get your three packs you get your promo pack it's basically your standard mega tin rundown uh, let me see how this looked all right just had to check for some glare but these are our promos we have junk speeder junk collector stardust assault warrior uh, martial metal marcher and junk collector so that's like our first junk um first junk link monster i think that we've ever had uh which is like interesting for me because i i get used i got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! like right around the start of the 5Ds era a couple years ago and uh, it's kind of nostalgic to see junk stuff I guess so there's our promos this guy is really cool I think uh, and so is this junk speeder guy I don't really care too much for the other guys but let's open up these beefy packs there's 16 cards in them you know, Borloats are huge uh, Magnite stuff uh, evenly matched topological bomber dragon whole lot of reprints we got the accumulator world legacy's hard cap capacitor stalker set rotation bad card bit root bit rooper overtax coatlas rescue fair that's cool now i have a play set of those puke emoji um and personal spoofing uh what's for any turn one alter guy oh, so this is for alter guy so not really too much to care about there for me anyways lang ling and parthian shot at the end of the battle phase, it becomes the end phase of this turn. That's and it's a counter trap. That's very weird. Um, so we got Coatlas, Light Stage, and Rescue Ferrets, and then our wrap, or a wrap, our rare was uh, Personal Spoofing for our pack there. Um, not the greatest pack. Uh, I just I've been getting plagued by Trickstar uh, cards for the longest time. When we did our box opening of uh, Battles of Legends, Legends of Re Revenge. The second Battle is a Legend set, we pulled two Reincarnation, and it was just terrible. Um, actually, I don't even think I did an opening for that that box, but it's actually good that I didn't because it was actually just trash, because I just pulled pulled absolute garbage. Uh, Demise, Secure Gardena, True Draco Apocalypse, Burning Bamboo Sword, Magician's Right Hand, Auto Rocket Dragon, Supreme King Ziark is our secret rare, a spellbook of knowledge, okay. Some Goki stuff. Maybe if I get enough Goki stuff, I'll be able to throw together a Goki build before that gets hit. If it doesn't get hit, I will cry and scream and uh, maybe never play the game again. I don't know. Um, I'm just kidding. A little bit of satire there, but so far, so far, we're doing. So far, we're doing, I guess. That's really all I can say. Um, Let's go into our next pack here. Jack Wyvern, World Legacy Clash, Lunalite, Crimson Fox, Shadow of the Secret Sense, Scroll Techniques, Gravity Lash, World Legacy Landmark, Cracking Dragon. This card is, I don't even know when this card came out, but um, I don't recognize it at all. Topological Bomber Dragon, look at that. Wow, that's actually really awesome. And Magnite Spectrum Supreme, I don't even have that card, so really happy I pulled that out of my pack. And, Link Bell Wall Dragon's actually really cool. Hackworm. Um, interesting pulls. So actually, like, a good pack. I'm actually surprised. It's been so long since I pulled anything remotely good out of anything that was sealed product. So we got this other tin here. Let's go ahead and slice this one open. Yeah. Terrible at opening things, I'm sorry. Boom. All right. 
Next pack, we got Elements of Hero Nebula Neos. I like how they, they, this is a different packaging system than I remember. They used to have the three packs, and then these would all just float separate in the box, but now they're all sealed together. Way to go, Konami, you did it. You added some quality to these tins. So this is this is another promo in this pack that I'm really uh, interested in, and it's uh, this guy right here. This card looks so, so cool. Um, they're all pretty cool po promos, but I, I like this guy the most. Level four water fusion. Um, I, just, I just guess he makes me think of Norden, and Norden was cool, so that's why I like him. Now let's open this first pack. I'll sort out all the stuff we pulled at the end of the video. I don't feel like keeping everything organized at this current moment. Uh, so let's see. Three Strikes Barrier, Jane, Twilight Sworn General, Jack Wyvern, F.A. Sonic, Meister, Duck Dummy, Ghost Beef, Ib the World Chalice, Priestess, Heavy Metal Foes, Electra Might, World Chalice, Guard Dragon, Goki, Scorpio, and oh, I hate that card. I might as well burn that. Um, all right, next pack. So we got a we got a, a Metal Foes Electromite, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I think I don't know if I have one still. I might have gotten rid of it. I can't remember, but I think I still have. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't have one, and now I have one again. That's really cool, actually. Uh, so Contact C, Duck Dummy, Ghost Beef, Amazon Spy, Heavy Storm Duster. I don't have that card, so that's pretty cool to have. Mac Knight, Purple Nightfall, Alter Geist. Prime Banshee, uh, Ryko Twilight Sworn Fighter, End of the World Underclock Taker, that's a good reprint to have. I'm going to put that there. Link Belt Wall Dragon, Hack Worm, and a bunch of other stuff. Let's go ahead and open up this last pack here. And see what we get. So we have Gogogo, -Go -Go, Aristara, and Dexia. World Legacy's Heart, Link Restart, Amazon a Spy, FA Auto Navigator, Cyanet Refresh, Lila, Twilight Sworn Enchantress, Ningirusu, the World Chalice Warrior, Trickstar Black, Catbat, Backup Squad, and a bunch of other things. So we got a, quite a few Link monsters, quite a few secret rares. No Borload, no Saryuja, but we did get some pretty good stuff. Um, I'm actually happy we got the, the Mech Knight, Purple Nightfall, and the Topological Bomber Dragon. The Electromite's very good to have, I think, because Pendulums are still pretty decent. I think that's the highlight for the video, honestly, in, me, in my opinion, because i just uh, been wanting to have this card for a while, and now I finally have it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, as for everything else, though, I mean, that's pretty decent. I don't know how much this guy goes for. Ningirsu, I don't even know um, what I'd use this in. Third Rescue Ferret is cool, I guess. Some of the promos are cool. Um... I don't know. That's a pretty decent video. Pretty decent polls. I don't know. What do you guys think? What did you get out of your tins? Were you super lucky? I think I came away uh, decent. We didn't do too great. We didn't do too bad, but decent, I think, is the word to describe it. Heavy Dust Storm is also very cool. I'm really happy that I got that. This card, eh, just just get rid of it already, will you? All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And as always, we're going to kill Santa. We'll see you in the next one.